Hi, I'm Ray Turland and I'm speaking to you today from the Malvern Winter Gardens where I'm looking for athletes who are in training for the annual Winter Garden Olympics here in the town. I've come across young... Young? <laughs> of course he is. This is, this is Mr R Twat who is a, um, an athlete who has been training for the Winter Garden Olympics since how long? I've been in training 24 years. I started when I was 12. And, and what does this training um, entail? Uh, it involves drinking about six litres of strong cider in the morning, starting at eight in the morning. That sounds pretty tough. Uh, that's very difficult, very difficult. And uh, then we move to beer at lunchtime, maybe have a stroll around the park. That's the physical side. That's the physical side. That's where the real competition element comes in. So, so is that where the leering at young girls comes in? Absolutely. And the drug testing, yeah, mustn't forget yeah, the drug yeah. testing. So, so what, you have a drug test daily? No, I test drugs daily. You do? Hourly, in fact. Right, all sorts. right. Well, it sounds pretty hard work. It is. It's tough. Tough at the top. So, um, I understand there's, there's a section um, urinating behind bushes as well. Uh, that is one of my specialities. I usually get high marks in that area. So, so what, what, are you, what are you expecting in the Olympics? Are you expecting a bronze, gold, silver? What, what, what are you going for? Well, I expect not to be able to stand on the podium whatsoever. Well, Mr Twat, thank you for that little conversation and good luck with, for you and your country in the upcoming Olympics. Thank you, thank you, and cheers. Cheers, good luck. So, there you have it, the training for the Winter Garden Olympics coming up this summer in the Malvern Winter Gardens. And now, some breaking news. Yes, breaking news. In the last few moments,